Hi, Jimmy Campbell. I'm a captain with the Warrington Volunteer Fire Company in Warrington, Virginia. And behind us is our Aero XT engine. Um, with this engine, our goal was to get a little bit smaller than the current ones without sacrificing equipment, which I believe we achieved. Uh, we came in just under 31 feet for our overall length and 9 foot 7 for the height. Um, as you can probably see, the dual rotaries is a big attention getter. It's a, it's a traditional thing that Warrington started in 1989 with one of the engines, so we stuck with it as part of the tradition. In the cab, we decided to go with the uh, vinyl interior rather than the cloth, just a little bit easier to wipe down and clean. This uh, particular engine does have the 505 Detroit, which is a mid-range motor, uh, six-speed Allison transmission, has the Pierce command zone. Uh, one of the big changes with this particular engine is we opted to do away with the generator. Uh, Technology is constantly changing with the battery-operated equipment now and all LED scene lighting. We really didn't have a need for it, even our fan. We have the blowhard electric fan. Uh, room for a five in the cab. The thought process with a five-man cab versus the six allows us to get a, gain a little bit more compartment space with the roll-ups. Going with a smaller fire engine just you know, gave us more room for our EMS equipment and some of our hand tools inside. Uh, this is the compartment we added with our uh, tower a few years ago. Just a little nice compartment for a uh, pipe holes, New York hook, water can. This engine is uh, equipped with a 2,000 gallons per minute Hale Q-Max uh, single stage pump. Got manual overrides on all the electronic discharges and intakes. Um, something unique with this fire engine that we haven't done in the past is each intake has an auxiliary primer. So the thought process is if you're drafting from one intake, you can basically get the water right up to the valve without losing your draft on a roll water uh, scenario. Uh, 750 gallons of water, 50 gallon uh, foam cell, uh, two 200 foot cross lays, uh, went back to a manual deck gun. Our current engines have electric. Went back to the manual and we actually have a valve up top that allows the driver to go up, set the pressure, go up and charge it from the uh, top of the fire engine. Moving on, the, uh, we did choose to, um, all our gauges are backlit, so it's a red LED. So it's a great option at uh, nighttime. Uh, moving on to the compartments. This is gonna be our driver's compartment. Uh, gear and everything will be in the bottom and then we'll have adapters and stuff mounted in the, on the two shelves. Uh, this engine will carry three hard sleeves, so we're going to have one here, and then when you get to the other side, we have uh, two additional ones that will be carried on the officer side. Our over the wheel well compartment that have the uh, pack track in there, building out the tools too. Our driver's side, same thing, this will also have the uh, pack track. We opted to have the pull out tray in this one as well. Uh, with our hose bed layout, we actually have a, uh, we carry a 400 foot inch and three quarter line, uh, 1200 feet of four inch, uh, three inch, or two and a half, another 300 foot inch and three quarter. Uh, this is the custom department we um, designed to house our high rise packs. With our current fire engines, we have the ladders on the top with a ladder rack, so we lost the, the high side compartments on the officer side, so trying to gain as much room as possible. Roll up. Typical ladder complement, a 24-foot extension ladder, 14-foot roof ladder, and a 10-foot folding attic ladder. Uh, two additional hard sleeves. Another uh, pull-out shelf in that compartment. Spare SCBO cylinders. 150-foot uh, on the uh, booster line there. And then we'll have a 50-foot uh, pre-connected 4-inch uh, supply line. Coming back around to the front bumper, we also have, in addition to the uh, rotor rays, the uh, dual Mars lights. Also, that's our traditional item found on the Warrington rigs. Uh, 25 foot of five inch will be on the uh, front intake. Another storage compartment here for hydrant adapters, hydrant wrench, whatever we want to put in there. 
and then in our front jump line here is a 150 feet of inch and three quarter. All wheel in LED package for the lights. We have the large LED strip light below the light bar. Uh, that's pretty much it with the fire engine. Uh, special thanks to all the individuals to help make this possible on the committee, uh, Pierce and our sales rep. Thanks for watching.